go through a quick drill sequence to help anybody who struggles with an over the top or a slice type motion in their swing. So generally speaking, the reason this happens is number one, a lot to do with the positioning of the body in the backswing, but an awful lot to do with the sequencing of how your body moves in the downswing. So normally whenever we see somebody who slices the ball, Traditionally, we'll see a lot of sway motion in the backswing. Now, that's not always the case, but it definitely is something that we see regularly in slicers. So as the club goes back, we often see a sideways motion of the hips rather than a rotational one. Now, once they've reached the top, the next move is to begin with the upper body. So the upper body will come forward of the lower body. The arms will pull the club outwards and in front of their body and then that's what creates that out in path. So the idea behind this sequence is to help you understand how to change that sequence of events in the swing and change your shape to a little bit more of a draw. So the first part of this sequence of drills really begins with just a stick, or you can also use like a wall or a drinks cooler, just something to the left-hand side that your body can bump into. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up with my foot around about a club head width away from that or slightly closer is absolutely fine. It's gonna basically be in line with my left hip. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the club across my shoulders. And the first thing I wanna do is make a backswing where my right hip pushes back. So we're gonna go into a rotation. Now, as I do that, what you'll see is I get a nice coil or a nice turn from my hips and my upper body gets a little bit more behind the golf ball. Now that bit is key because we want to see that turn to the right with our upper body so that our hips or our left side kind of leads coming into the golf ball. So job number one is really just place the club across your shoulders, make a turn to the right, and allow your hips to rotate back. Now from there, I want to move my hips towards this stick in the downswing. So we're going to make that turn back and a little shift across into that stick, and then we're going to come forward and through. Now the bad motion would be if I turned and then began that motion downwards and my upper body reached the stick first. So we're really trying to clearly feel the hips lead the motion down towards that stick and then I turn and face the target. And that's the first part to understanding how to fix this problem that we see in this. So part two is very similar, but this time we're gonna do that with the golf club. So we're gonna go into a setup here I do have that stick placed in a good position here, which I'll explain a little bit more now in a second, and that's to do with the path of the club. But we're gonna get into a normal setup, and we're gonna try and make sure at address that my left side feels slightly higher than my right side. And that's really important as to how I'm gonna create a little bit of turn back and a little bit of rightward tilt. So we're gonna get into that setup where my left side feels higher than my right, and we're gonna make that same rotation of the hips back so you can see I'm now tilted well away from the target. And again, the idea being I want to feel that little slide with my hips coming through. So we're going to go into the setup. We're going to make a little turn back and stop. Slide the hip forward and just lightly chip the ball through. So at the beginning, it can be broken down into little pieces like that just to help you get a feel and an understanding for the movement. You can even tee the ball up if you really want to make that quite simple. So one more time, we make that little turn to the right going back, little shift across, and just chip the ball through. And you'll see when I finish, my arms and my chest are fully facing the target. I'm not trying to make a full follow through here. It's just a little chip motion through, allowing my left hip to finish facing the target. So part three, now you'll see why I have this stick here. The whole idea is that that stick will block any outward motion or over the top motion from the club. So while I'm going through this drill and I'm making that backswing, I want to feel like as my hip shifts towards the target, the club stays in behind my body. The one move that I don't want to make is from the top, my shoulders come forward, the club works out, and I end up hitting that stick. So as I'm making those slow motion swings, that is a very, very high priority for me. So we're gonna go into setup, again, having that left side slightly higher than right. Make a little turn back with our hips. Just slide my hip out and into that little punch follow through. Now to begin with, what I'm aiming to do is hit little pushes just out to the right like that one. I don't wanna hit it straight. I actually wanna hit a small push up the right. 
Now, as I go bigger, I can turn that push into a bit of a draw. So again, as I make that shift forward, I can shift my hips and just release the club a little bit more. So this will be closer to a full swing. We see a small draw there. So this little three-step drill is great to help you change the way your body moves, help you stop an over-the-top motion, and ultimately stop slicing the golf ball and change more towards a draw shape. Thank <laughs> you.